Sarah Bakewell's, at the Existentialist Café, Freedom, Being, and Apricot Cocktails with Jean-Paul Sartre, Simone de Beauvoir, Albert Camus, Martin Heidegger, Maurice Merleau-Ponty, and others, is a compelling exploration of existentialism in the lives of its key figures. Through a blend of biography and philosophy, Bakewell takes readers on a journey through the intellectual and personal lives of Jean-Paul Sartre, Simone de Beauvoir, Albert Camus, Martin Heidegger, Maurice Merleau-Ponty, and other prominent existentialists. The book not only provides insight into the existentialist movement but also invites readers to contemplate the fundamental questions of human existence, freedom, and meaning. Bakewell's narrative style is both accessible and engaging. She seamlessly weaves together the biographical details of these philosophers with the philosophical ideas they developed. By doing so, she brings these intellectual giants to life and allows readers to connect with them on a more personal level. The author's meticulous research is evident, and her ability to present complex philosophical concepts in a clear and relatable manner makes this book accessible to both newcomers and those well-versed in existentialist philosophy. The book opens with a discussion of Jean-Paul Sartre's famous public lecture, Existentialism is a Humanism. Bakewell examines Sartre's ideas on radical freedom and responsibility and sets the stage for an exploration of existentialism's central themes. She delves into Sartre's life, detailing his early years, his relationship with Simone de Beauvoir, and his experiences in World War II, all of which influenced his philosophical development. Bakewell's portrayal of Sartre as a charismatic and controversial figure adds depth to the narrative. Simone de Beauvoir, Sartre's lifelong companion and a prominent existentialist in her own right, receives ample attention in the book. Bakewell explores de Beauvoir's contributions to existentialist feminism, her philosophical work, and her complex relationship with Sartre. De Beauvoir's insights on the concept of the other and her feminist perspective on existentialism are highlighted, showcasing the diversity within the existentialist movement. Albert Camus, another central figure in the book, is examined in the context of his philosophy of the absurd. Bakewell elucidates the distinction between Sartre's existentialism and Camus' absurdism, offering a clear perspective on their differences. She also delves into Camus' personal struggles and his unique approach to grappling with the meaninglessness of life. The book provides a rich exploration of the philosophical tension between Camus and Sartre. The book's treatment of Martin Heidegger, while brief in comparison to the other figures, sheds light on his influence on existentialism. Heidegger's concept of being and his emphasis on authenticity are discussed, highlighting the significance of his ideas within the existentialist tradition. Bakewell navigates Heidegger's complex philosophy with skill, making it more accessible to readers unfamiliar with his work. Maurice Merleau-Ponty, often overshadowed by the likes of Sartre and de Beauvoir, is also given the attention he deserves. Bakewell explores his ideas on embodied consciousness and perception, connecting them to existentialism's concern with lived experience. This inclusion demonstrates Bakewell's commitment to presenting a comprehensive view of existentialism. The book goes beyond the philosophical discussions and delves into the personal lives of these philosophers, showcasing the complexities of their relationships and the ethical dilemmas they faced. The existentialists' engagement with politics and their involvement in the French resistance during World War II add depth to their characters and further illuminate the intersections of philosophy and real-world events. Bakewell masterfully weaves together the existentialists' individual stories while also highlighting the broader themes that unite them. The existentialist café, a recurring motif in the book, serves as a metaphor for the intellectual exchanges and debates that took place among these thinkers. The book captures the spirit of these meetings, where ideas were discussed, challenged, and refined, 
ultimately shaping the existentialist movement. Throughout the narrative, Bakewell continually emphasizes the existentialist focus on individual freedom, choice, and responsibility. The book encourages readers to confront their own existential questions and grapple with the fundamental issues of human existence. Whether one is drawn to Sartre's radical freedom, Camus' absurdism, de Beauvoir's feminist perspective, Heidegger's concept of authenticity, or Merleau-Ponty's emphasis on perception, at the Existentialist Café offers a comprehensive overview of these philosophies, making it an excellent starting point for anyone interested in existentialism. In conclusion, at the Existentialist Café, freedom, being, in apricot cocktails with Jean-Paul Sartre, Simone de Beauvoir, Albert Camus, Martin Heidegger, Maurice Merleau-Ponty and others, by Sarah Bakewell is a captivating and informative exploration of existentialism and the lives of its key figures. Bakewell's skillful blending of biography and philosophy offers readers a deeper understanding of existentialism while also portraying the existentialists as complex individuals with their own struggles and triumphs. This book is a valuable resource for both newcomers to existentialism and those looking to revisit the ideas of these influential thinkers. It serves as a reminder that the questions of freedom, being, and meaning are not merely abstract concepts but fundamental aspects of our lived experiences.